start off with your personal travel journey. How did you okay. get into kind of just like picking up and going? You know what? I was 20 years old. That was when I got on my first airplane ride to Japan. Uh, and it was there that I realized like, oh man, I like this. I went from uh, 11 and a half hours to, from Atlanta to Tokyo and I was in a whole nother continent and country and the travel bug bit me. And I was like, oh, I have to keep doing this. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> and in the past 17 years, I've been to over 45 countries. Wow. And I have to say congratulations on this this project that you have coming out because it is everywhere, Jeff. Disney Plus, Hulu, National Geographic. How does that feel to kind of go from a 20 year old who was just stepping on your plane <laughs> at the first time to now being on three major networks? Uh, it, this, this, it is in real life. I can tell you that it is it's out of this world. I am I am like truly shocked in a lot of ways, but I, I really did like after like six years ago when I quit my job as a choir teacher uh, for nine years, uh, I started down this this different journey and I wrote down this as a goal to have a TV show one day, but to be with National Geographic is in is, this prestigious organization is, is, is once in a lifetime opportunity here. Oh my goodness. And I have to ask, have you made your way over to the Pacific Northwest? I know you've I have. so many different countries, but we're I a little have. special over here too. Yeah, y'all have. And I I'm, I can see the picture in the background. I've been literally to that place that you're, because that, that view right there is one view that I will never forget. I, it's so beautiful, right? You mm -hmm. cannot beat the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> what What has been one of your favorite places to visit? You know, uh, I, I mentioned Japan earlier. It totally still is. The culture, the tradition, the way that they bring out the food is just amazing. But I love South Africa. I love Italy. Um, those are just some of the destinations that I love. I, and I really want to touch on this next uh, point because your whole mission is to kind of get out there and show people who look like you that it, travel is not just for one particular demographic. It's not for one particular person. Tell me uh, how how important that is to you. Yeah, like my, my whole mission is to redefine what travel looks like uh, and get people that look like me to live life now, no matter their size. And I believe that representation matters. So when people see themselves represented, they'll be motivated and encouraged to get out there and do it too. So it's, it's definitely important. And I really do feel like I'm achieving that mission right now. Yeah, what's been one of the things, has anyone reached out to you and kind of said, you, you helped me get on my first plane ride or visit my first country out of, you know, the US or UK, anything like that? Every single day and I love it. Like keep, keep letting me know because it continues to inspire me. The whole time I did that show, I kept telling people, it's not about me, it's not about me. I'm doing this for others because I want other people to see and push themselves to outside of their comfort zone and so that they can enjoy themselves. I love it. Well, Jeff, I have to thank you so much, but before I let you go with all of your travels, I know that you, you've learned something about yourself and I want you to tell us one thing that you have kind of come to a conclusion to or learned in, in your travels with this new this new project. Yeah, a lot of times, like when people see me, sometimes they come with a lot of bias, like, oh, and you know what? I have my own internal bias as well. And so for me to do this, uh, this series, uh, to do all these epic adventures, I realized how resilient I was and that I can push myself to a limit uh, or I can push myself outside of my comfort zone and do a lot of things that I never thought I could do. Well, Jeff, I know for a hundred percent fact that this interview, you talking about all of this is going to change somebody's life. It's going to reach out to someone, especially us being in the Pacific Northwest. Yes. Do but travel, get out there, hike and, and all that great stuff. So I'm so happy to talk to you this morning. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And, and I can't wait for y'all to watch it. It's a fun show.